During Trump's portion of the town hall, of course, the biggest controversy erupted. Each candidate was asked about uh, Trump's campaign manager facing charges for uh, putting his hands on Michelle Fields, who was a Breitbart reporter at the time. Now, uh, during Trump's portion of this, of course, he was asked about it, and his answer was frustrating. And the audience's reaction to his answer was frustrating. Let's take a quick look at video number two, and we'll discuss. When she found out that there was a security camera and that they had her on tape, all of a sudden that story changed. No, she that's didn't not talk true. About she it. says her story has remained exactly the same. She oh, really? was knocked a little Can bit off. Can I read off, this to you? Then, yeah, that she was knocked off balance, but she remained standing. Do you mind, if I, you? Standing. You Do you go you go mind if I read you her sure. statement? Yeah, please. Huh? I mean, give me a break. You're a professional announcer. Why don't you read it? <laughs> the bottom part. The bottom. Now, that's an exact quote from her. It would be so easy for me to terminate this man, ruin his life, ruin his family. He's got four beautiful children in New Hampshire, ruin his whole everything, and say you're fired, okay? I fired many people, especially on The Apprentice. <laughs> and by the way, she was grabbing me. Am I supposed to press charges against her? Oh, my arm is You've hurting. You've suggested Anderson, you my arm is just killing me. It's never been the same. You've suggested you might. Excuse me. Excuse me. I didn't suggest. Well, I, yeah, you I did. tweeted. No, you... no, I tweeted. Well, well, I, I asked a tweet a is a suggestion. Should I press right. charges? Are you going sure. to? Sure. I don't know. Maybe I should, right? Because you know what? She was, she was grabbing me. And just so you understand, she was off base because she went through the Secret Service. She had a pen in her hand, which Secret Service is not liking because they don't know what it is, whether it's a little bomb or whether it's So it doesn't concern you that me. initially Corey Lewandowski said, I never touched her. Uh, and that turns out not he, to be true. I don't think he knew her. People are chopping off heads in the Middle East. They're drowning people in cages by 50s. They're drowning. Here's a guy who walks. She shouldn't have been touching me, OK? And you saw that she did that. Yeah, she, did. she was grabbing me twice. I looked at her. In fact, one of the great pictures is me going like this, like, get away from me. Who is this person? OK? But my arm, it's never been the same, folks. <laughs> never been the same. All right. Uh, the, He's the mocking worst, her. The worst part about that is when they cut away to women in the audience laughing and, and mocking the fact that a woman was touched in a way that she did not want to be touched, had bruises as a result of his campaign manager grabbing her, right? Now, did she exaggerate the initial account of what occurred? Yes, I saw the video, I think it was an exaggeration. But with that said, no one should put their hands on you without your consent, mm. especially in a forcible way like that. Look, his, the way that he just hijacked that portion of the town right. hall was very, it's just, it, it, it enraged me. Yeah, well, right? it, it, it at least revealed that he apparently thinks that tweeting something is not actually saying it. Right. <laughs> I didn't suggest it, you tweeted it. Oh, well, yeah, I guess I suggested it, uh, which explains a lot of his behavior. And he's just multiple times, just, oh, my arm's never the same. He's literally, the only thing he's doing is mocking the injuries of a woman who says she was battered, who tweeted out that she has bruises all over her. And he thinks that pictures, that's funny. By the way, yeah. that looked like bruises. John yeah. Kasich uh, saw the the same uh, surveillance, whatever video that everyone has seen. He was asked what he would do if his campaign manager uh, was embroiled in this big controversy, and he said, "I would fire him." Right, and that's the proper thing to do. You fire someone who's now facing charges for touching someone in a way that they're not supposed yeah. to touch them. No, instead okay? he made that guy out to be the victim. That's I'm exactly not going to ruin right. his life. He has a family to lose his job. None of that stuff has happened. It's all purely hypothetical in his mind. That guy is the victim. The guy who not only grabbed her, then a couple days later is pulling on a protester. And you touched on the most important part, to me, one of the most important parts to me, Anna, which is the reaction of the audience. Yeah. And the fact this is incipient fascism. You know, I've talked to historians about this and everyone, there's controversy about it. In my mind, if you look at the early careers of any fascist leader of the 20th century, it starts, everybody, the newspapers all say, oh, he doesn't really mean it. But the cheering, basically cheering the mocking of an act yeah. of violence. That yeah. is an ugly and, and, and frightening thing. By the way, the, the final, like, we're used to conservatives hating the media, saying, oh, it's the damn liberal media, they're the enemy and everything. She's a reporter for Breitbart. Right. Which I understand now is treated as, oh, it's just a legitimate news source. That's like a crazy right-wing online news, news source. And they're laughing at her being assaulted. That's their side. That's their people. And they don't even care because right. she went against Trump. We're living in a scary time when the front runner is someone who supports his campaign manager uh, abusively touching a female reporter, okay? who openly says that he wants to punch protesters in the face, who regularly uses violent rhetoric and gets applauded for it, okay? Yeah. I mean, it's gotten so bad on the Republican side that Kasich, 
who is a right winger who goes after women's reproductive rights ruthlessly seems like a reasonable, legitimate candidate. That's a very depressing country to live in.